We have to cut out of that. You see pandemonium is set to have broken loose out at Brackenfell High School. That's our report of Vanessa Puno's currently on the street there. Vanessa, we understand that rubber bullets, we understand that water cannons, we understand that stun grenades will have been fired upon EFF members who have every right to be there, having secured the right to march. What is going on? What's the latest update from Brackenfell, Vanessa? Yes, indeed, I can tell you that chaos has indeed broken out here on the corner of France Conradi Street. It's around the corner from the school. Uh, uh, a large police contingent uh, fired uh, off water cannons as well as stun grenades uh, because a short while ago we witnessed an altercation or rather conversation between a member of the poli public order policing as well as an EFF member saying uh, that they had only agreed to certain conditions, of course, this protest due to have started at 12 o'clock today um, and of course still two hours or so, an hour and a half before that is due to happen. We're making our way uh, to the scene where a large group of EFF supporters have indeed gathered. There's a water cannon in the background. You'll see that the roadway is completely wet because they were indeed uh, water bombed a short while ago. And some complaints from the EFF members who have come, uh, it seems, en masse. Uh, you'll know that uh, the protest action uh, was to allow 100 protesters to protest outside the Brockenfell High School. And of course, the reason for that protest is uh, the allegations of racism at the school uh, following the private matric party. I'll just now show you the large police contingent that is on scene at the moment. Uh, the water cannon also at the ready. And we are making our way uh, to, towards this group. I mean, I count at least a few hundred supporters here of the EFF uh, as uh, we walk towards them. There's also a helicopter hovering above, a uh, police helicopter, uh, to monitor the situation, which seems extremely volatile at this point. Uh, just opposite uh, the Brockenfell police station is where we are at the moment. And this, of course, where you'll see members of the police uh, are speaking uh, to members of the EFF. I'll try and get a listen to what they have to say. And then we can have a very peaceful protest because the minute now people get hurt, they might be unruly and we don't want that. We want to control the situation. So just take a look at the situation. I want a peaceful march. With no incident. No, there will be no incident. With no incident, that's what I want. So just take a look at You already spoke to your people now? You already addressed them now? Sure, yeah. Right. So, so. I told you when you when you really talk to you, your your time is when you're gonna talk to you. Okay. That's why I said we go and do it. So the biggest of all is that we will arrive between twelve and one. The leadership is coming, but we know our time. Yes, to us, we know our time. If you still with me, of course, uh, that are some of the members of the EFF uh, speaking to members of uh, the uh, law enforcement officials as well as the police uh, following uh, some chaos, uh, chaotic scenes we see here uh, outside uh, the uh, library as well as the uh, post office, of course, uh, police maintaining, public order policing are uh, maintaining a very high presence uh, with their shields as well and uh, that uh, police helicopter still circling overhead and of course the visuals you're seeing now is of course a sea of, uh, of red as EFF supporters um, are indeed uh, gearing up uh, for that protest action outside the school at 12 o'clock. Uh, Vanessa, maybe you can uh, try and get some sense for us and our viewers what happened, how did it break out, why were water cannons fired and stun grenades and rubber bullets maybe the EFF we heard the police there saying go and address your members maybe we can get some some, some some reaction from them as to what they think happened indeed I can't speak to some of the members right now ma'am we from the SABC news explain to me what happened when the police opened the, uh, the fire, uh, the water cannon as well as the sand grenades. Um, firstly, firstly, what I would like to understand is how do you fire a tear gas to people who are not armed? How do you fire war tears that is fucking dirty to us? Because we were marching peacefully, not doing anything, no throwing, no nothing. But they showed tear gas. Why? Why? I understand that the EFF has got a permit to protest at the school today for 100 members. Yes. There are hundreds of members here at the moment. Yes. Explain that to me, please. Um, it feels...
it's, it's a pleasure to me. It's a pleasure to fight with my own people Amanda. because it's been it's been a, it's a fucking disgrace to us. It's been a disgrace to us that every time everything that is happening, black people are put at the back. Why? Tell us a bit about the reason why you're protesting, though. We know you were here two weeks ago. Yes. It all stems from the private matric party. Yes. Just the facts of why the EFF have come out in numbers uh, here today. Uh, the last time we saw similar chaos breaking out, today the same thing's happening. Um, last, in the last March I was not here. I was at college. It missed me. This time I'm close at college. I'm here. The last March was a disgrace also because people got bitten. I don't know why or how, but... Even today, even today, we were trying to be peaceful, but we were being provoked by tear gas. We're being provoked, trying to march peacefully towards the school, but we're being provoked. Thank you very much for speaking to you. Of course, one of the members and supporters of the EFF they explaining to us uh, that they've come here peacefully. Of course, the numbers indeed many more uh, than uh, the numbers that were given uh, permission to protest outside the school. And at the moment, um, uh, you can see uh, there are, I can't even estimate, about 500 or so people uh, that are gathered here. And uh, they were told earlier on uh, that uh, they only have time until, or rather that their time for protesting only starts at 12 o'clock now. We made our way from the front of Brockenfell High School. Uh, that's at least a kilometre and a half, two, uh, two away from where we stand right now. And uh, earlier on this morning, also a group of members of the Cape Party had come together. Uh, they said that they were there uh, to monitor the situation, calling this action by the EFF indeed racist, uh, speaking to Jack Miller there from the Cape Party. And they themselves were given a, a warning by police to disperse by 10 a.m., because neither, not the Cape Party, uh, ha they haven't uh, received a permit to, to gather. Of course, they were standing over uh, about a few hundred meters or so from the school itself, where police had cordoned off the entire Rockland Road. Uh, that's, of course, the road in which Brockenfell High School is located. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly what's happening at that, uh, that side. It was quite peaceful when we uh, ran to the side of, of Brockenfell, just opposite the post office. And um, sir, well, well, were you here when the, when, when the police fired uh, the water cannons? Tell us what happened. No, Missy, I was not here. I just came now. Sir, 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 Yes. Everyone that was blue was there on the front there. And the news, peacefully, there's no one person here, it's only us. But what they did... The irony of it all is that we, have, we were just beginning to gather. There is nothing that we had said, nothing that we had done, nothing we didn't even come to them. They came to us and they started shooting at us. Now my question is, what is going to happen when we do that? We have not even provoked anybody yet. We have not provoked anybody. Of course, they will be getting it from members of the EFF saying that they indeed were provoked by police and that, that, that they indeed were only starting to gather here. We did understand early on that they were going to start gathering at 10 a.m. And of course, the protest action was due to start at 12, from 12 to 3 o'clock. Um, at the moment, the situation is still quite tense. Uh, police are on the ready, standing by, uh, as well as the large group of EVF supporters uh, behind me, uh, saying uh, that the police action has indeed been unfair towards them here today. Yeah. Tell us, uh, Vanessa, a bit more about the K-Party. I mean, we understand their political party, um, and according to them, they speak of uh, the seek to use all constitutional and legal means to bring about independence of the Western Cape. Now, you've told us that the police have asked them to leave because they do not have permission to be there. Basically, one could say there was a form of agitation and what we're seeing unfold now mostly was inevitable. I think that is the, the point that the police were trying to make earlier on because you will remember that the Education Department, the Education Minister, the City of Cape Town, the Human Rights Commission and a host of other bodies have appealed to residents of Brockenfell as well as political parties to please uh, exercise some constraint at today's protest action. And I suppose that was an anticipation uh, to exactly the kind of thing that we see uh, breaking out here at the moment. And when I put the question to Mr. Jack Miller uh, on, on why they were indeed here, he told me that they were here uh, to 
to monitor, uh, to observe what was going on. And then, of course, when police had uh, uh, interaction with them, police told them, and I know in certain terms, that that's the job of police to make sure uh, that the area, the residents, and everybody is indeed protected. Uh, so uh, the co party has accused the EFF of politicking politi as well as grandstanding. Um, but at this point in time, um, I suppose we could also ask uh, the, the reason for a political party uh, putting up uh, their, their banners and uh, uh, their uh, regalia um, at a, a very politically, not just politically, but racially sensitive protest. This protest itself uh, highlighting, uh, even uh, eliciting uh, concern uh, from various parties across uh, South Africa. The president himself has weighed in calling the incidents uh, of chaos that we saw unfolding here uh, two Mondays ago as a uh, 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 regrettable and uh, at this point in time um, uh, uh, upset members of the EFF behind me trying uh, their best to stay behind the police lines um, at the moment you'll see them singing and chanting uh, and of course uh, gearing up for that protest action uh, which they have been uh, given permission uh, for 100 members outside the school today. Vanessa, a lot of time the EFF are accused of being instigators. They're accused of starting, um, let me just call, leave it at that, as instigators. At this point in time, we can say, if the information we get from you is correct, is that this was unprovoked unless other information proves otherwise. Well, this is what the EFF is telling us. They're telling us that they were provoked by police. Now, of course, um, at this very intersection, at uh, France Conradi, early on in the week, that's exactly where uh, the members of the PAC themselves were barred from coming closer to the school early in this week. And you'll see that members of the EFF, sorry, um, they are trying uh, to create a line asking us to move further back um, at this point in time. And they are insisting that they are not provoking anything. Uh, they, at least from the EFF's point of view, are insisting that they were indeed provoked by police. Mm. Vanessa Puna, what we'll do, we'll leave you for now. Thank you very much indeed for the updates on that. Please do get in touch if anything does happen. Uh, Vanessa Puna, senior SABC News reporter there in Cape Town, just outside Brackenfell, as you saw there. Uh, some of the people she spoke to spoke about the fact that um, there was a lot of, um, well, water cannons, stun grenades, um, Water cannons were used against uh, those people as chaos obviously erupted at the Brackenfell High School in Cape Town. Police have fired water cannons, have confirmed the stun grenades to disperse what we now say are EFF, EFF protesters. We heard them say they were unprovoked. Not clear at this stage what triggered the violence, but tensions rose when the police said that more than 100 people were allowed as per permit were outside the school. The EFF as this morning began the peaceful march to the school. In fact, as you see there, Vanessa is speaking about they're going to keep, well, they're going to march to the school. They're already organizing the line to march there. Vanessa Puna, and again, thank you very much for speaking to us. And to our viewers at home, apologies. We'd like to apologize for the, the adverse language that we heard there from one of the people that Vanessa Puna spoke to at the AFF. Um, obviously quite distraught about being fired upon, but we'd like to apologize as the SABC on the crude language used on air.